there's a leadership principle. Andrea asked you all if you were familiar with John Maxwell. John Maxwell has a book called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. One of those laws is called the law of sacrifice. The law of sacrifice is basically you giving up something of lesser value for a greater gain. So when we talked about the scholarship example, you're sacrificing those two hours of time where you are not talking on your phone, answering text messages, tweeting, making Facebook posts or Facebook uh, response and all those other distractions, you are investing in your future because the greater gain is the chance for you to get a scholarship to pay for school. So the part of being a leader is understanding that there are going to be times where you have to make sacrifices in order to accomplish a goal, in order to move to the next level, in order to gain something that you really want. Who are my athletes? Anybody play basketball? Everybody, oh, right here, here I am. Yes, okay. So I like to use basketball because I play basketball. Now, when I played basketball, when I was in practice, how many people like to run? Oh, yeah, I like to run. Wow. Do you like to do suicides? No. You don't like those? Yes. See, I didn't like doing suicides. Uh, we had to do ours. Ours were timed. And if we didn't complete them in a certain time, we had to do them over. We had 32 seconds. That's about how much time we had. And if anybody on the team missed the time, everybody had to do it over again. So we had to sacrifice the, the exerted energy of working out, doing those drills, is also a form of self-discipline, but the gain for us was one, we, built, we, we were able to build ourselves as a team. We learned to work together as a team. So there was no one individual person because everybody had to make the goal because we were a team. But the other benefit of that is the harder you work on developing your craft, developing your skill, so those layup drills, those passing drills, those dribbling drills, it helped to reinforce our ability to get out on the court and compete successfully against another team. So we had to make the sacrifice in practice, all the blood, sweat, and tears, to walk away from a game in victory. So does that make sense? You understand how, as a leader, you will have to sacrifice something of lesser value at that time for a greater uh, gain? Yeah. Okay, so who wants to give me an example of how they made a sacrifice for a greater gain? Can you speak into the mic, maybe? Stand up. 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 Stand 45 yards back and forth and at the end of practice you would have to run and there would be always that one person that would like try to lag but you have to go back because if the last person didn't finish the drill you have to run the whole field 100 yards so at the end of practice you have to go back help them out and then you get a reward for it so, yeah some teamwork there was some teamwork there so they sacrifice 
um, the person, those who finished, they didn't look at it as, okay, I've already accomplished my drills. I've done my part. That, that person, they're on their own. No, they went back and helped pull that person up with them so that they can all be on, on one accord. That's a part of being a leader. That's a part of teamwork. Anybody else want to give an example? Mm 